boys and girls, it's time for science story time. And today we're going to talk about forming a hypothesis, which is a special name scientists use for in an informed guess, a good guess. So first I want to read your story though. It's called Lola Loves Stories, and it's by Anna McQuinn. And Rosalind Beardshaw drew the pictures. This is Lola, and this is her daddy. And Lola is so lucky because her daddy takes her to the library every Saturday. The library is very busy, but Lola finds some excellent books. Lola's daddy reads the first story at home. It is about a fairy princess. And the very next day, Lola wears a sparkly dress and some rings and a crown, and she pretends to be a fairy princess all day long. On Sunday night, Lola and her mommy read the next story. It is about an, it is about a wonderful journey. The next day, Lola pretends to be a pilot and she takes her friends on trips to places like Paris and London and Lagos. On Tuesday, Lola cheers us a story about mommies and daddies. And the next day, she and her friend Ben play with their babies. Lola has cappuccino and her baby has juice. Tuesday night, Lola's mommy reads about fierce tigers. The next day, Lola chases her friend all over the jungle. Lola's pretending to be an animal that time. Let's see what she pretends to do on Wednesday night. Lola, on Wednesday night, Lola reads a story about old MacDonald. The next day, she pretends to be a farmer. Lola's cow has a boo-boo, but Mommy knows how to fix it. On Thursday night, Lola reads about building. The next day, she fixes up her house. She needs a hammer, a saw, and a little help from her daddy. On Friday night, Lola's daddy makes up a story about magic shoes. The next day, Lola's shoes are truly amazing. They sparkle all the way to the library and all the way home again. They even sparkle while Lola's daddy reads a story about a wild and wicked monster. What will Lola be tomorrow? What do you think? Look, she's a monster. She's a wild thing, just like in the story that her daddy read her. The end. Now, Lola liked to pretend to be lots of things in the book. And I'm going to read you another book. We're going to do a guessing game book this time. And with the guessing game, I'm going to show you something. And you're going to use the clues I gave you to come up with a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a good guess. It's something the scientists aren't just making up a guess inside their head. They're looking at the clues they have and making a guess that could fit those clues. So this book is called Who Uses This? And it's by Margaret Miller. Who uses this? That's a hammer. Lola used the hammer in her in our first book. Do you remember what she was pretending to be? Who could it be that uses a hammer? Hmm? What's your hypothesis? Oh, this book says it's a carpenter. 
Lola calls herself a builder in her book. Either one is right because builders and carpenters both use hammers. Let's find something else to guess about. Who uses this? This is a rolling pin. Hmm. Maybe you've seen a grown-up use a rolling pin to bake or cook something in your house. What? Who would use a rolling pin for your job that would maybe work in a restaurant or a bakery? Yes, it's a baker. That was a good hypothesis based on our rolling pin, right? And based on what you've seen people do with rolling pins. Let's see what else we can we can guess. Who uses this? This is a dog leash. Who might use a dog leash? Someone who works with animals as their job. What kind of people do that? Well, there's vets who help sick animals. There's people who run doggy daycare centers who keep animals busy and happy while their owners are at work. Or it could be a dog walker. Look at all those dogs he's walking at the same time. Each one of those dogs is on its own lease. So all the guesses we had for this one were good hypothesis because we looked at our clue, which was a leash, and we thought about it and we said, what a leash would be somebody who works with animals. What jobs work with animals? And then we came up with three different hypotheses, three different guesses that fit the clue we had. And then we tested our hypothesis by turning the page and we discovered, yes, it was dog walker was the right answer. I hope you all had fun reading and making hypotheses and checking them out with me today. Bye, boys and girls.